Okay, so this is a Westermeyer um, filter on a CO2 rack. What we're doing is we're getting into the uh, filter. So we got it loose. We're gonna change the filter out of there. So we took most of the bolts, we leave two, just making sure there's no pressure in. That's why we leave the two. Once we break that seal, we know we're good. So now we're gonna take this whole thing off and take a look at it. So we're gonna pull this sucker off. Side there, look on top. Yeah, this is this is gonna be the O ring right here. Well, it's not even an O ring; it's a metal ring. Yeah, but that's our seal. We're gonna be taking that off, and then we're gonna be taking getting this filter out of here. We gotta take those bolts off down in there. Okay, so I took this off that had the the three bolts on there. Pop that, that off. Over. This is the seal here for the actual filter itself. And then I pull the filter out, as you can see, there's some damage there. Well, yeah, we're going to replace the sucker out. What we did was these are your filter caps. Okay, we got to make sure that you take them off. See how that one does not have it? And that one does. That's the new one. That's the old one. But that's what's going on with it. So we're going to go ahead and replace this. Uh, just make sure you take your your caps, your seals off the old filter. So you do the swap -aroo. So you don't never want to double stack them. Other than that, it goes back in. Again, um, we're going to put that filter back in here. We're going to take that piece there that he has in his hand. We're going to put that on top of the filter. We're going to bolt it down, get the correct torque specs. Okay. And then we're going to put we're gonna replace this seal here. And then we're gonna bolt it all back up. And then we're gonna do a star pattern tightening. And then we're gonna do a, uh, um, we're gonna to torque it to specs. And then uh, we'll put it on a vacuum, pull our microns and we'll be good to go.